local talent is flying. This production by director Christopher Lee Dos Santos follows his international debut feature about South African pilots in World War II. Producer Wayne Creel sees as much promise in this film. Without giving too much away, give us a little teaser of the film. Well, look, I feel that uh, Chris DeSantos, our director, has really ripped apart a subject matter that has seen on TV for the last three years. We've got a community who lives underground and a bunch of people above ground trying to take what they have. And I think taking the cast we have into consideration, international star studded, and also Chris as the director, he's really focused on the high points and low points of what it's like to survive, something that most people in modern day time would like to see, a situation where society crumbles, and what would you do? What, how would you survive? Hollywood can be just as tough, but Sean Cameron Michael has featured in the film 24, starred opposite William Hurt, and now brings his big screen billing to a homegrown thriller. Okay, Sean, let me understand this correctly. You've just got your green card, you're now living in LA, auditioning for Massa Productions. Now you're back in South Africa and you're shooting a South African movie for an American audience. Well, you know, it was, it was the perfect time for me to go to, go to the States. I had uh, uh, the Salvation Western that I had done, there was sort of unlimited release there. And um, I mean, I'd sort of been speaking to Chris DeSantis over the past sort of year and a half, and he had mentioned, look, you know, there's this movie that he wants me to do. And then basically, yeah, I was like sort of there for four months, and then Chris sort of messaged me and went, hey, dude, we're about to start shooting. Can you come over? So, yeah, pretty, pretty ironic being in the States and I come back to South Africa to shoot a, an American movie with all South African actors and one Danish actor. And, uh, but it's, it's been really, really cool. Now, Sean's countrymen and women see their profiles grow by sharing screen time with him. So tell us a bit about the dynamic between your character and Brandon's character. The story of Last Broken Darkness is about this single father, you know, who's, who's now lost his wife, he's lost his kid, and um, there's all these meteor showers and they end up underground. And um, Sam's best friend is Troy, Brandon Orette. And um, the whole movie's really about their relationship, the strong friendship that they've built over the course of eight years. Brandon Orette starred in Neil Blomkamp's Chappie, and this film offers a golden opportunity to show his versatility as a dramatic actor. Brandon, dude, your character, Troy, best friends of the main character. Tell us a bit more about him. He's a normal dude. Um, which is great for me. I've, it's, as an actor, you always want to try and uh, play different roles and, and, and get into the mindset of as many characters as you can. I'm very blessed in that I've had to play some really, really big, like, badass roles and, you know, jumping out of things and shooting up aliens and all kinds of things like that. But, but this movie, I, I've had to like, kind of tone it down a little bit and find the normality in a character and, and, and use that as my reference to develop the character with the story. So you're receiving that script for the first time. What jumped out at you about it? It's about survival, it's about trust, honesty, and loyalty. And when you're underground, those are the, the elements that need to come into place. In other words, there's lawlessness. This movie is very much, that's the element. It's, it's the survival element and what they go through. And I love that because it, it builds tension in, in an actor and it builds tension in the character and hopefully it builds tension in the audience. And if we can achieve that, then we've achieved what we need to. So a lot of people don't actually know that about five, six years ago, I directed this man in a series of commercials. There were three of them. And I just want to say this, okay? I never thought that comedy would, I'd ever do like comedy. Yeah. They were very funny. Yeah, but it was a good director, you know? So I've got a good, yeah, a good before your yeah. best performance out of you ever, I think. Yeah, you did. I've, I've actually got a script. You want to check it out? Something I'm working on. And I've got budgets. Budget, that's where I need you. No, oh, come on. Yeah, we got it, we got it. You, you're the I name. Got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. For smoldering South African beauty, theatre actress and model Surya Rose Santos, this is a big screen debut, playing a young woman with the key to the future of civilization. So uh, this is just such a typical movie setup. We've got our warm coffee, it's a cold winter's night, we've got the crew buzzing in the background, the lights. What's this experience been like for you? Cold and difficult, very, very difficult. Got to do my own stunts, but it's been absolutely amazing. Loved every second of it. So apart from doing your own stunts, what were some of the challenges in the movie and some of the memorable places that you shot? Um, let's think. Oh, lying down on a live train track, which we actually had to move for a train. 
and Kenton Park Hospital. Need I say more about that? Yeah. So it's been it's been rather challenging, but I think I'm going to walk away from this physically stronger and mentally. This is your second feature film, but your first is the female lead. What's that been like in working alongside acting royalty like Brandon and Sean? It's extremely, extremely intimidating. Well, it was in the first few weeks, but uh, Sean, I must admit, gave me a lot of tips on set. He's kind of like having a teacher on set. He's always looking out for the best of me. And Brandon, oh, Brandon was a nightmare. No, I'm just kidding. He was absolutely amazing, except he constantly, constantly pranked me. But other than that, they became like family. Coming back to, back to the American accent, I've got some auditions coming up. All right. Give me a quick tip. All right. Maybe we can do a scene together. It's really easy. First of all, you're going to roll yeah. your R's. Uh, I can't do, but I'll do, just yeah. water for daughter, water, water for daughter, daughter, and talk through your nose. That's the main thing. Talk water through your daughter, nose, talk water through your daughter. Nose. There we go. Okay. All right. Now water we're gonna do daughter. a scene. It's a really water emotional water. scene. I need you to picture something very, very sad. Done. All right. And Done. here I go with my line. Sam, don't die in me, Sam. I can't help it. I'm dying. Well, what are you doing? Are you trying to cry? I'm trying to cry. This is what I do. Hi. See, there we go, Sam. Sam, don't die on me, Sam. Can't help it. It's, it hurts. Sam. End scene, please. Uh, end scene. <laughs>